Uh, you know, they've just gotten into a lot of close games. They haven't quite been able to, to get that game-breaking hit as good as they've been. That one drilled to right field out of the reach of Cart, excuse me, Slyke. And it's going to be a double for Settlemeyer. And coming in to score will be Destiny Middleton. UNC would not necessarily hate that. There's Slyke driving one to left, and that one bounces in. Carpy will come in to score. And Slyke, with the RBI single, has tied this one up for Boston College. Two RBIs. Drills that one to the cabin right. Bouncing off the wall, one run comes in for the Eagles. Holman's gonna send in a third. Warman staying at first. Gives Guyry an opportunity to slide in and score in Boston College with three runs here in the bottom of the third. Take a three to one lead. Errors for the Eagles. The three, two on its way. Strike three, got her looking. Abby Dunning and the Eagles get their first conference victory, and it's on the sixth strikeout of the day for Abby Dunning. That one drilled towards the gap in left center. That's gonna reach the wall. One run scores, another run on its way, and Carly Myrtle, a pinch hit double, two RBIs. That one drilled over to center field. Case has to go all the way back to retrieve it. Going to third for Knight. That one gets by and towards the BC dugout. And coming home is Kiana Jones. Strike three is called. And McKenna Ray Dark. A complete game shutout for the first time in her career. A big bounce back performance for North Carolina as they score five in the top of the seventh and win this one five nothing. A one from the sophomore. Lined into center field, base hit. Carpy comes in to score, the throw comes to third and Knight is out. She waited to see that ball go through, but it's an RBI for Nicole Guyry, and the Eagles take a 1-0 lead. Some action against Liberty. We were told today that she might be done for the weekend. That's driven high and deep to left field. Steed looks up, and this ball's gone! Two-run shot for Hannah Slyke, and the Eagles take a 3-0 lead. Well, how she's been able to get the outs. Punch shown, it's a squeeze play. They get a run home and no play there for Knight. She singled her first time up. That was the first hit for the Tar Heels today. That's hit on the ground to the left side. Nicely picked up by Knight. She goes to first and it's in time, but another run comes in to score as Settlemeyer crosses home plate and it's now a 3-2 game. 3-2. Chopped on the ground to third. Knight comes home with it. They get one. Big slide at home plate that takes down Carpy, but a big out for the Eagles. The 2 2. On the ground to third. It comes up on Knight, and the Tar Heels have tied it in the sixth. Anderson's 3 0. Up and away, ball four, and the Tar Heels have taken the lead. 3-1. Off the end of the bat, shallow left, base hit. Two runs coming to score. The throw comes into third. It's not in time. A two-run double for Bree Stubbs, and the Tar Heels are now on top six to three here in the sixth. Two and oh, the count. Fly ball, center field. Stubbs drifts back. She makes the catch of the run, and that's the ball game. UNC with eight unanswered runs takes the rubber match eight to three against the Boston College Eagles.